guys hello again this is Miguel Lopez in here I hope you're doing really really great so as usual we're going to talk about two uh, subjects pretty interesting both related to cybersecurity to hacking stuff so if you got any comments go ahead write them down and let's get started hey friends even if you are using a secure browser in incognito mode you are not going to be saved of being spied so better watch out because now your couple can even install a tracker on your computer and trust me, you will not even notice. So let me tell you that Google and Facebook is monitoring the porn sites that you are visiting. Well, that's true. Thanks to an investigation, it was discovered that these companies together with Oracle uh, installed dozens of trackers in a large number of porn sites. Well, the problem is that even if we use the incognito mode, we can't save ourselves since these programs are active in the internal code of the sites, which is very alarming. So the numbers indicate that of all the analyzed websites, Google has trackers in up to 74% of the porn sites, Oracle in 24%, and Facebook, of course, in 10% of the porn sites. So guys, what we know is that Google uses some of this data to inform site owners about the web traffic, also, we know that Facebook uses some of this data to allow its users to like pages or share their content. But the question is, what do companies do with all the rest of the data? It's a total mystery. And well, the most worrying thing is that on the 100 analyzed sites, it was detected that the traffic and the collected data by companies is not encrypted, it's not even protected, guys. So that's worrying. And well, theoretically, this information is vulnerable and available for any hacker. So watch out. So once again, Facebook is involved in a privacy problems. So weird. And well, hopefully these companies do not misuse the user's data. And let me give you an advice, guys. Don't watch porn because now Facebook and Google know when you are horny. Guys, really, did you know that most of the first world countries have already facial recognition systems? Trust me, they already enable this in government and public buildings. Hey guys, have you ever uploaded a photo in Facebook with your friends and saw how a very precise system asked you if you wanted to tag those specific friends? Come on, everybody does that. Hey, did you know that this technology can identify our gender, our age, our mood, and even if you got your face covered, it can actually partially recognize you, follow you until it distinguishes you. So, let's talk about 8 ways to avoid facial recognition system. We're talking about uh, glasses that are being developed or are already developed. So the first one is to wear jewelry. Well, a designer has decided to create what is described as jewelry for the face. So its design includes two brass circles and well, this design prevents facial recognition system from detecting our face. Okay, also we got the glowing lenses. Of course, they were developed in Japan by the National Institute of Informatics. Well, these glasses had 11 LEDs and they are located strategically to illuminate the eyes and the nose. Uh, well, uh, these are the points that the facial recognition systems generally look for. So it will not work. Okay, in third place, we got the reflective lenses. So these lenses have the ability to project infrared light. This means that the security cameras could not detect and capture their facial features because basically all the recognition devices use this technology. Okay, also we got the IR pair lenses. So these are IR lenses and they are equipped with specially designed optical filters. And well, this is to prevent infrared light from passing through the lenses. And actually, it is just allowing natural light. So this will also block the facial recognition systems. Now, we also got some lenses called ghost glasses. This glasses system contract the facial recognition thanks to the IR reflective material applied to the lens frame. And well, this system reflects a 3D facial mapping system by infrared points. And this is also going to block the facial recognition systems. So in sixth place, we got the IR clip glasses. And well, as the previous two points, these glasses uh, counteract also the facial recognition system. But now you got two options. Uh, you can choose between dark or light, which are the IR dark or the IR light lenses. And well, this one also blocks the facial recognition systems. 
So we also got something for wearing is the hyperface clothing. And this is another option to distract the software of recognition system. And well, the hyperface uses print to create fake faces in the clouds. And well, with this, the facial recognition systems will have a very hard time to track you. And finally, we got the face shield software. So this is just a program basically, and well, you can use it before you upload your photos online. Actually, it's pretty easy to use. And well, basically it's just a filter that it's applied to the photos before you upload them to the internet. So friends, in case you are afraid of the cameras or in case you are trying to hide something, well, now you know what to do. Guys, that was it for today. But as usual, we will see you tomorrow. So if you got any comments, please write them down, guys. And I think that was it. Please help us to share this video so we can reach other audience, guys. Well. This is the end, see you later.